Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin. Today we're doing more unboxings. You know this layout now, we've used it a few times. This is where we do the unboxings. This is where, ha, ah, the boxes are shown and I am, ha, ah, right here. So yeah, well, let's get started with this. Uh, what we have today to open box and show for you is a Halo Legendary crit. As you can see right over here. No, uh, the Halo Legendary crits, I think this will be the last one we'll be receiving of the Halo crits. Uh, they did a series of these for the first year, which is one every two months. And they had a series of figures and uh, missives and information. And I think the, the crate had a lot of momentum behind it because of Halo 5's release. But I don't know if this is going to be one that will be persistent for a long time afterwards. But though, there is the Halo fans out there that will demand to have this in their possession at all times. So uh, let's see what they sent us this time. Okay, good luck. Hero Legendary Crit, the last one for the Passage of Skin channel, as far as we know. We may, be, may, we may get more, but that's what I think is the case. This will be the last one. Open Sesame! Oh, okay, well, you can see artwork on the top there. It actually is a Master Chief. Finally, we see a Master Chief design on the interior of this. And we have our first missive, UNSC. Spartan, eyes only, top secret. Must unravel and prepare. Now, if this had been all an ARG kind of thing, um, I've been mildly interested in it. I might have actually folded it a little bit better, but most of this is actually just felt like um, character fluff and information and printouts of things about ships. So yeah, the systems assessment for Spare to Fire. It'll be kind of hard to see from there, I'm sure, but maybe you can see it up on this side a little bit better. Yeah, so it's kind of just a schematic layout of actually the abilities of it. Now, this is probably, uh, yeah, it makes sense. With the release of Halo Wars 2 coming very soon, this has got a fair amount of hype actually behind it. So, yeah, it's actually showing you, like, different units and types that are actually on different sides, of course. And what is in here? Taru Kado on approach of Site 037. So, um, this must be a reference to something that's happening in Halo Wars, some instigating incident of some sort that actually caused uh, soldiers to actually get into this war zone. No, classification priority one alpha, Office of Naval Intelligence, after action report. Let's just take a quick look through here. The, there is a lot of like timeline and fluff and actions and talking about flood outbreaks, uh, good news, bad news, um, talking about system updates, repair jobs, things that need to be done, integration of cool shit. I mean, all of this is interesting in canon storytelling. But none of it's actually, I think it, 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 it makes these crates really, really depend on your personal involvement with the Halo universe. Really, uh, if you're a casual fan who plays through the Halo games and enjoys them for what they are as uh, shooty buyings, enjoyable shooty buyings of many varieties, and uh, do delve into the campaign as much as you do the multiplayer, then this is interesting information to you, I'm sure. But to me... It is a printout of things that I never really cared about, so you go by the wayside. Let's take a look and see what else is in here. Of course, we want to take a piece of clothing. Oh, all right, so this clothing is actually well-wrapped. So normally you want any of the t-shirts are actually inside these boxes. They can like, like come folded and sit on top of it. This one actually has like actual like paper on the inside to actually protect the interior of it. Nice touch, uh, something that I wouldn't mind seeing, having seen, or would have liked to have seen in the um, Loot Crate DXs, but obviously not. So what is this? Uh, banished? Itriox 1 Banished? I like this as a baseball tee, that's actually kind of nice, I like that. Uh, well, I mean, probably going to be a little bit off. Oh, god damn you. Why is it actually going, there's no green in this material, so why is it actually trying to Photoshop it out? Or trying to key it out? Anyway. Banished baseball tee with this on the back of it. Ooh, uh. Itrox one. So I'm assuming Itrox is uh, possibly the name of a brute leader or brute commander in the um, new Halo War series or Halo Wars Two. I'm gonna try the try this gear jacket one on. I mean, problem is with uh, baseball tees is that they actually tend to have a fairly tight fit in the arm. So I'm already wearing a t-shirt. Let's see. Oh no, this is baggy. This is baggy as hell. Hang on, let's see. Wait. Sorry, 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 my Firefly fans, but uh, throwing a shirt over the top of another one. So yeah, feels nice. Cool. That's actually, that's a very, very loose fitting baseball tee. Normally the sleeves are always a little bit tighter in. 
But uh, that feels quite comfortable. Yeah, I could drink beer in this. I could drink beer in this. I could see that. Let's take a look to see what's else in here. Ooh! So yeah, definitely this box being related towards Halo Wars 2. So even in the branding of it, you can see Halo Wars 2. And uh, Douglas 042 Stress Ball. So. Yep, yep, yep. I feel my stress melting away. This is a Spartan helmet that you can actually squeeze the shit out of. The smell test is a bit off. Disturbing smell. It feels like it smells like somebody's been squeezing this for weeks with their butt cheeks. Thick. <laughs> um, I'll get around to squeezing that a bit more. Hopefully not between my butt cheeks, and hopefully get that smell out of it a wee bit. But uh, yeah, cool. Stress ball, office toy. Can't beat that. Not too bad. Cheapest chips. Pretty nice. Um, let's see what else is in here. Let's go for the lucrative screenshots. That's what I remember these called. Screenshots. All of these little moments that they actually found from. Games are cool shit that they actually end up making into models. Now, they've had a series of ones where it was red versus blue, uh, Spartan and Locke. Um, shit, what do you call him? Um, Mal Reynolds' character in Halo 5? 4? 5? Was it? Did he do a character in 5 or did he do a character in, like, ODST? I think it might be an ODST even. But yeah, uh, Halo Icons from the Legendary Crit, they actually have these little figure sets. Um, I haven't, they, they all connect together to make one large diorama, so I imagine that they're going to continue the series on. Now that this is actually past year one, season one, they'll continue this to actually make bigger and bigger sets. So it's literally just like a little bit of terrain, a little peggable figure that puts in it, and then they all connect together to actually have like one long battlefield. So by the time you're finished, if you do this like a year in, year out, month in, month out, you'll end up with like a, a battlefield that would be like from the finish of the fight, just in a lot less detail. But uh, yeah. Yeah, for Microsoft Studio 343, is there actually, does it say who actually builds the figures themselves? No. And yeah, I'm right. Atriox, it's actually his name is on the side there. So he's one, he's the banished dude that I actually is referred to by the shirt. So yeah, it's a brute. Big brute commander guy. So what else is in here? We have the Halo Legendary Crit, Atriox and the Banished. This is the theme of the crit. Of course, Halo Crit being the hashtag. We'll probably actually tag this, make sure it actually goes out to the right part of the marketing department of uh, Loot Crate so that they know that we're talking about the content of their crates. They don't really care at all. They just want the user statistics. They want the statistics and the retweets and they want people to know about them. But to be honest, there's not that much memorable about most of these crates that come out. Um, I'll leave the poster last because it tends to be on the back of it, the actual um, list of contents. So crew master logbook, or crew member logbook. It is a notebook with an emblem of a particular ship. Yeah, so five pages. I mean, but flying note paper, that's all it is. Spiral notebook, not too bad. Two bucks, a couple of bucks, not too bad. Ooh, okay. So, um, I recently had a friend of mine uh, give me a shout out looking for a new mouse pad. Guess what, man? You're not getting a Borderlands mouse pad. You're getting a Halo Wars 2 mouse pad. It's my free gift to you. You actually contacted me, and I contacted you back saying, yes, you can have the one from one of my previous videos, but uh, I haven't been able to find it since the last time I was chatting to you. So... Whenever we meet up for that pint, this is the one that will be going into your hands. Need the worst too. Keep it a concurrent. Keep it modern. It's a better idea. So, those are all going on the floor. The pad's not too bad. It's like just a mouse pad. <laughs> well, yeah, getting the mouse pads is kind of nice. Um, as long as it's got the right texture and grip and it's a decent for gaming and it has something I mean, relevant on it, then most people tend to actually enjoy them. Ooh, okay. That's not too bad looking. So... Poster, of course. Oh, I don't know why I hate roll posters because that's happening. But it's Atriox. Can you see him? Yeah. Hold up. That look interesting to you. Yeah. I mean, I can hold it this way, but nobody's going to see it because it's that dark. So what do you think? Then you finish the fight, but with a giant uh, brute at the front of it instead of good old Master Chief. So surrounded by soldiers, surrounded by tanks. Um, Halo Wars 2 branded. So, what else we got here? Atriox and Banished. Banished pin comes in two varieties, gold or colored. Gold being the limited edition one. Halo icons, Atriox. Banished baseball tee. Data drop files. Spartan helmet stress ball. Spirit of Fire crew member logbook journal. Halo Wars 2 mouse pad. And, ooh, Halo Wars 2 Banish pearl white unit dry, digital skins. We have a code for it here. So, um, yeah. 
First one to comment underneath the video, if you've actually watched this far, gets this code that's sitting on the bottom of this. So, where my hands are sitting, you get that code to get yourself some free special digital skins for Halo Wars 2. So, feel free to compete for those with all those first comments that people tend to do. Yes, this has been another crate from Halo. Another crate from Loot Crate. We're coming slowly, slowly to the end. And now... The time is near, and I face the final curtain. But, of course, we all did it our own individual ways. We all made it here to the channel to watch things. So I'm sure you guys have actually been enjoying the videos up here in the channel for the last week and a half. Um, just being quiet, just doing the creative things. I have no feelings for these things anymore. So... There's no point even really kind of commenting on the um, the veracity and validity and the content of the crates. It's Halo. It's Halo Wars 2. Uh, it's Halo related. If you're interested in Halo, that was Halo. Halo. Halo every two months. Halo. That's what you get in the box. Time to be abandoning that one. We'll move on. It was nice to have it for the six months that it was available because it actually does one every two months. But um, yeah. Now, never, nothing ever really kind of grabbed my attention from it. The clothes were nice, uh, could have been a really decent loot wearable, but because they're like Halo specific branded, then they're okay. Just did the job. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. This has been the Loot Crate Unboxing for Halo Legendary Crate number 6. Here on Past Teacher Skin, we won't be doing any more of these. So, um, I apologize for that. If you want to enjoy any other videos, you can of course hit the wee buttons and hit the videos that are sitting around, popping around all over here. And if you really want to, you can hit the subscribe button. That's exactly where my face is. That'll allow you to be able to see stuff anytime you feel like coming to the chat. I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.